Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out in Business Insider November 20th, 2018, and its title is something else. So <laughs> the Proud Boys are now listed as an extremist group. So they have now officially have been added to the FBI's list. The FBI has designated the far right Proud Boys as an extremist group with ties to white nationalism, according to Adam from the Clark County Sheriff's Office in Washington State. The report has obtained by The Guardian via the government transparency nonprofit property of the people, and it marks the first reported instance of the FBI referring to the group as extremists. According to the document, the FBI has warned local law enforcement agencies that the Proud Boys are actively recruiting in the Pacific Northwest. Proud Boy members have contributed to the recent escalation of violence at political rallies held on college campuses and in cities like Charlottesville, Virginia, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington. The documents added. The authenticity of the report was confirmed by The Guardian by its author. The Proud Boys, which recently made headlines over its involvement in street violence in New York City and Portland, was founded by Vice Media co-founder uh, Gavin McInnes. Now, there's another article that said he has resigned from the Proud Boys. During the 2016 presidential campaign, the group describes itself as comprised of Western chauvinists and believe the West is best, McGinnis has sought to distance the Proud Boys from association with white nationalism and the alt-right. But the Southern Poverty Law Center describes it as a hate group. The Proud Boys are known for anti-Muslim and misogynist rhetoric. The SPLC says on its website, Trump has faced criticism over his approach to right-wing extremism. As critics say, his rhetoric emboldens such movements. And I agree with that and those associated with them. Well, it goes back to those old fashioned Klan rallies, uh, what he calls a rally that looks very much like a Klan rally. <laughs> but um, a recent poll by the uh, Public Religion Institute found that a majority of Americans, 54% believe Trump's decision and behavior has encouraged white supremacist groups. Trump in 2017 cut funding to groups focusing on countering uh, right-wing violence, a move that faced condemnation after the president's response to violence at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, which was organized by former Proud Boys member Jason Kessler. Since his presidential campaign, Trump has frequently emphasized the dangers of radical Islamic terrorism, but law enforcement data shows white supremacists and other far right um, extremists have killed more people since the terror attacks on September 11th, 2001, than any other category of domestic extremists. The FBI has also faced criticism over its approach to white nationalism 
and associated groups, as critics say, it has been quick or forceful enough to twatting far right extremism, even as it targeted black identity extremists. Y'all need to quit with that made up load of nonsense. You know, you know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make us equivalent to them. And you know what? You can add up all of the violence in the black community since the, it has existed in America. And we would never surpass all of the killing they have done. And no matter how hard they try to make this false equivalent, that's all it is. There is no way we have done that amount of killing up in America. The FBI avoided explicitly addressing the designation of the Proud Boys as an extremist group in comments to Insider, but did say it does not and will not police ideology. But you put people in jail for BIE, though, that didn't even commit a crime. <laughs> the FBI is no different than the people on the streets making phone calls, seriously. Our focus is not on membership in particular groups, but on individuals who commit violence and criminal activity that constitute a federal crime or poses a threat to national security, the FBI said. Go and look at the guy they arrested for BIE. He was not even committing a crime. And they locked him up. Like I said, they're equivalent to the, the ones out here making phone calls. When it comes to domestic terrorism, our investigations focus solely on criminal activity of individuals, regardless of group membership, which appears to be intended to intimidate or coerce the civilian uh, population or influence the policy of the government by intimidation or coercion. The FBI added that it regularly assesses intelligence regarding possible threats and work closely to share that information with our federal, state, and local law enforcement partners. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Proud Boys are now officially listed by the FBI as an extremist group. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.